Hey there, so in this video we will talk about a product filter component that I built using Laravel Livewire. This component has an ability to filter the products by price, headphone connection type, average review, color, types, etc. It also has an option to filter the to sort the products by rating by high to low price or the low to high price. We can also navigate the products by pagination. So let I'll just start with the demonstration. So let's say you want to filter the products which fall into the category of price dollar twenty five to dollar fifty. So you select this and you get the products which are in this range. You have an option to clear the filter. Let's say you want to filter the products by highest rating. So you get those and you might also want to filter products with highest rating and in black color so once you select those you get this option I'll cl clear the filters you can filter the products by brand so if I choose Amazon basics I get this result I'll clear these you also have an option to sort the products default sort is the created at date you can sort the products by best rating you can also sort it by price currently I have selected high to low you can navigate to the more products by moving ahead with the pagination so I am now on the third page back to the one and there you go so I'll give you a sneak peek into how this is built using Laravel Livewire. So this is the product filter component, Laravel Livewire component. As you see, I have a filter options array which basically lists down all the filters, possible filters that I have. And this is an associative array. As the value, I have defined all the possible options that user can filter by for each of them. On the front end, I loop through these filters and display their options depending upon how it should be displayed. So for the rating, I display a fav icon. For the color, I display a color circle using the bootstrap and all these things. The next thing that you can note here is the render option. So while rendering the component, I get I fire the query to the model along with the filter option and in the filter this is the query scope I am using a package called laravel filterable so with that you need to generate a filterable class and you can pass in the filters in an array I have an order by which is selected by the user so I pass in the key and the direction which needs to be ordered by default is defined here and I get the result in a paginated format uh, six at a time so once I have these I have defined this filters array what happens is we have wire modeled these filters as an associative uh, parameter to the filters so when user selects any filter it fills this option which basically invokes this and the products get refreshed since we have applied them on the render pretty simple we also have an option to clear the filter so basically that means that whatever filter I'm clearing I'll just make that array blank one thing that you can note here is as soon as I select any filter option it updates the query string in the URL so I have I have the price of 5200 and the best rating so I get these options with this query string the user can bookmark the URL and also copy the URL and give it to his friend so when his friend opens it he already has these filters selected and the products already filtered out this is achieved by using query string uh, given by the Laravel and in here I'm passing the filters parameter so basically whenever the filters array is changed it appends that change to the URL on the front end side we have the filters we are uh, we have this 
search column we have the pagination and we are basically looping through the products and displaying each of them the, the component is available at this URL and I'll paste the URL in the description I hope you like the component thank you